Have you dislocated your shoulder before or do you dislocate your shoulder repeatedly? If you do, I want you to watch this video. Make sure you watch it till the end because I will be sharing three great exercises. Actually, these are my top three exercises that I recommend when you have shoulder dislocation. Hi, this is Reggie from Restore Plus Physical Therapy and welcome to today's tip of the day. When you dislocate your shoulder, you want to strengthen the anterior part or the front part of the shoulder. Now, why is that? It's because most of the dislocations go forward. Rarely does it go backwards. So when you strengthen the front part of the shoulder, it prevents the head of the humerus from going forward. The most important muscle to strengthen there is your pectoral muscles. And of course, you have to strengthen your rotator cuff also because they provide stability to your shoulder. So I'm going to show you what those exercises are. So let's dive right into it. The first exercise that I want you to do is what we call either a cable crossover or in this case, I don't have a cable, I'm using a resistance band. But it's a crossover movement. It will help strengthen your pectoral muscles. So what you want to do is you're holding it from this position. If it's a cable or a resistance band, you're just going to take up the slack so it's not too loose, but it's not too tight also to start. So you just take up the slack when you hold it. And then what you want to do now is from here, you want to bring it across your chest. So from here, you go across the chest. You can be a little, this one is a little lower, or it can be a little higher, or it can be right at your horizontal. So you're bringing it across, and you repeat that 15 repetitions, and then you can do it for three sets. Now, when you do that, it's important for you to squeeze the pecs. So that way, you're recruiting all the muscle fibers of your pectoral muscles. So that's your first exercise. Now, the second exercise that I recommend for shoulder dislocation is called a chest press. So you can use a bench press or you can use resistance bands like this. So this is how you do it. Start off in this position and I'm going to show you one very important movement or part of this movement that you have to observe when you're doing this exercise when you have a dislocated shoulder. All right. So but basically you start in this position and then you're going to push forward and then come back, push forward and then come back. One important part of the movement that you have to observe is if I go on my side, let me show you. So when you bring your elbows back, do not bring it beyond the horizontal. So it should be just in line with your shoulders. Do not bring it beyond. Why? It's because if you do this, you're pushing the head of the humerus forward. You don't want to do that if you just dislocated the shoulder or if you have a dislocatable shoulder because it will make that head of the humerus keep going forward. So you want to bring it up to here and then back. Here and then back again. So that way you're strengthening your pectorals, you're strengthening the front part of the shoulder without compromising, without pushing the head of the humerus uh, forward more. So make sure you observe that and then just keep doing like this. So from here, so my elbow will just be straight, forward, side, or you can actually have the band go down, forward, and again to the side. You're going to do this 15 repetitions and you can do it three sets. That way you get the most out of that exercise. Now the third exercise that I want you to do for dislocated shoulder is an internal rotation exercise against a resistance band. You can use resistance tubes or a cable. In my case, I'm using a resistance band. Now the height, ideally you want to be height of your elbow but if it's not then a little bit lower a little bit higher it's okay so what you want to do now is you want to bring your elbow next to you like this keep it in and then you're going to take up the slack of the resistance band so don't go too too uh, too short on it because then it's going to be too tight and then don't leave too much slack then because then it's going to be too loose so i always say keep your elbow like this next to you and then when you bring your arm up out you're gonna hold it like this and you start from here so from here what you want to do now is you want to bring this in across your tummy and then back in across your tummy and then back make sure your elbow stays in do not go out like this right now in this position the shoulder is relatively more stable compared to when you're doing external rotation in this position so that's why we do this exercise in this angle and not from this angle if you have a dislocated or a dislocatable shoulder so take note of that that's very important so, so again from here you're going to pull it 
in across your belly out in out repeat that 15 repetitions and you can do it for three sets those are the three exercises that I recommend if you have a dislocated shoulder or you have a dislocatable shoulder. Keep doing those exercises once a day or even twice a day, especially at the beginning if you're doing lower resistance. So that way you can tighten up that front part of your shoulder, you can strengthen your pectorals and strengthen your rotator cuff. That way you can prevent that dislocation from happening again because once the dislocation happens and if it keeps repeating then you are going to end up with a loose shoulder which in some cases i've seen some of my patients have to undergo surgery to correct that so i hope this video is helpful for you i get asked this question quite a bit even in our social media so I decided to just create this video. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please don't forget to click on that subscribe button so that you can get alerted when our new video comes out. We have a new video that comes out every week where I share more tips on how to get healthy and how to get pain-free. For the meantime, go watch the next video.